Hey there, everybody. My name's Bunky, and you're watching Bunky in the Basement. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about, um, you know, being a Baltimorean and, uh, you know, growing up in South Baltimore. Um, I had a really lot of good times here, huh? And I had a lot of bad times, you know? But, um, you know, I lived on Lakes Point down in South Baltimore. Real down in South Baltimore, real good, good old boy town right down there. You know, right by train tracks and everything, you know. I used to have a real good time down there. One thing about South Baltimoreans is that, um, they, um, well, you know, we're real nosy. Every time, like, the fire trucks go by, you know, like, and, and you'll hear them, too. You'll hear them loud, too. Fire trucks go by. Paramedics going by. Police officers, you know, police cars riding by. That's when everybody comes out of their houses and goes and sits on their stoop. You'll see them all, too. If they're not sitting on their stoop, they're hanging out of their doors with their iced teas and, you know, and smoking cigarettes and Fritos. And everybody wants to know what's going on. And I remember one night, it was real bad for me because uh, we thought our Aunt Dolores was uh, in the house. Um, she was supposed to be in the house um, watching um, Melrose Place and um, eating one of the turkey dinners that we had got from, for her up at the Box and Save up there on uh, Richie Highway. But, uh, but no, she snuck out the house and she, we seen her up on the corner and she was trying to buy an extension cord from, her, from a crackhead. Um, so she could plug in her electric humidifier because she got real bad sinuses and every time. Cause, and, um, and sure enough, a Geo Metro came around the corner and hit her. And it, and it hit her right in her leg and her bad leg too because she's got the diabetes plus she's got the varicose veins going all the way up her legs. And it hit her in her bad leg and she fell down and oh my god. Everybody was in their stoop, and they didn't, you know, she was laying on the ground, they didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do either. I didn't even, you know, I was kind of dumbfounded. And I ran over, and I said, Aunt Dolores, Aunt Dolores, you okay, you okay, Aunt Dolores? And she said, <coughs> And I was like, no, Aunt Dolores, no, what are you talking about? And she said, You know, and they picked her up. She had a bad leg, you know. I don't know why she was talking like that either. It was weird. But, uh, but um, sure enough, they put her in the paramedics. I told her, I said, Aunt Dolores, when you get out of Mercy Hospital, um, we're going to pick you up and we're going to take you to the O's game. Then we're going to take you to Patapsco Flea Market so you can get one of them big purses to hold all your coins in. And then we're going to take you to the ocean. Sure enough, I told her just like that too. I said, Aunt Dolores, you can have one of them hermit crabs. From that little um, sea shop up there on 33rd Street too. That's where I used to get a hermit crab every year. Every year I got a hermit crab. Now I named them. At one was uh, Tony Saragusa. I named the other a hermit crab. Cal Ripken. You know, and the Lord saw he pull through. I remember one time she whacked me right over the head with um my trapper keeper that I just got for school. She hit me right over the head with it too because I um. I would get my markers and I would cut, when she fall asleep, I'd color in her, her varicose veins on her legs. Time of mine, I swear, we used to go up the grain elevator down there in Locust Point there, and um, we would get her BB guns and we would shoot the rats. I felt just like John Wayne most of the time. And if I wasn't feeling like John Wayne, then I would be feeling like um, Clint Eastwood. And if I didn't feel like Clint Eastwood, then I'm um, Steven Seagal. But usually, um, John Wayne and Clint Eastwood first. It was off nights out with Steven Seagal. And I had I had the ten Joey had just the one pump gun. And I had the ten pump and I always felt like I had the advantage over him because, you know, I had a stronger um air rifle. You know, I was it was kinda of more serious. You know, I told him, Don't look don't look at this like a joke. I have ten pump BB gun right here. You know what I mean? So, you know, watch what you say is basically what I was trying to tell him. And um so I saw, you know, we saw a rat. And I swear to God, this rat was as big as like a um, like like a, like a dog. I swear it was so big. 
or, or it was it was as big as a cat. Let's just put it that way. And um, it was right there by the um train tracks. And um, what did I do? <laughs> now Joey, this is all he does. But me now, I'm over in the corner, and I got my I got my aim. I had a scope too. Um, my uncle bought me a scope to um put on my uh, ten pump. It didn't fit, but we taped it on there, and it worked. Sure enough, worked just as good as any other um scope ever did. And I was um I was Clint Eastwood this night, and I aimed. But first, I had to pump. It was like. Can buy a team 